Now, ABC's Rena Roy reports on COVID-19 in the rest of the nation. Cases in many states are now dropping, but there is still concern as deaths remain high. As COVID continues evolving, the World Health Organization keeping a close eye on a rising number of virus-related deaths across the globe. This virus is dangerous and it continues to evolve before our, our, our very eyes. We're now starting to see a very worrying increase in deaths in most regions of the world. Hospitals in Nebraska and Missouri feeling the strain yet again. I have been taking care of COVID patients for about two years now. Um, <clears throat> it's a struggle every day coming into work, knowing what we're coming into work doing. Everybody's overtired, we're overworked, um, but it's, it's a bad situation right now. Young American children from six months to five years old could get vaccinated by the end of the month if federal officials give Pfizer the green light. The company now applying for emergency use authorization of its vaccine for that age group. We have to remember there are millions of kids that have tested positive throughout this pandemic. So getting that protection is going to be super helpful. The good news is most states are seeing the number of new cases go down. The surge came and now it's starting to go away. The numbers are trending down. We're still going to take this seriously, though. This is not saying it's over.